Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods up, what up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. Tons and tons of you are new right on over here. Special welcome to you. Thank you so very much for joining the family. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, manners and respect every single time. Now today's video is just simply about how to marinate your pork for how to select and to marinate a piece of pork for jerky. Now, when you're selecting pork for jerking, all of you don't want to get a piece of soft pork for jerk, but how do we know when the pork is like juicy and nice and the succulent and stuff? How do we know? We can't know. We the customer, the consumer, we can't know. The butcher no know neither. The, 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 meat, the meat man or the meat monger or whoever, he cannot know unless he is a farmer because some people that are, are meat mongers, they are farmers. Okay? The butcher is the person who butchers the, 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 the animal. Sometimes he's just a butcher. He buys it from the, the pig farmer. Hmm? But let me give you a little story. And look here. I know some people are just here for the whole in-depth of how to marinate the pork and how to jerk it. They don't want to hear anything else. That's what they're here for. So at this point, you can just click off the click. I may have to tell my family them something. See? Now, my father was a pig farmer and he was also a licensed butcher. When me know is that when you're jerking, most times all those big place, pasta and jerk and them something, they select special pigs, sucklings and young pigs for jerking. Because if the pig is not young, a hour and a half, not when jerk, a old tough barky have. And then it is going to become so dry, you know, sometimes you go purchase jerk work, you notice how it's dry and barky and tough, and I have nothing about it because of some old, old ag. If you, sometimes I would see my father with a pig, a mother pig that has lots and lots of uh, um, um, sets of pigs, triplets, um, set of pigs. And he would have just looked my mother and said, you know, say, me no want that pig, you have no more set of pig. But I said, go fatten her up and sell her, or fatten her up and kill her. Is that all like that, you know? That is that all back here, go about three, four years, you know? You think I easy have that for jerk? No, you don't know. So, this is part one of the video. I am going to be marinating. I'm, I want to show you. This is what I selected for jerking. You know? I want my own cut like this. I asked my butcher to cut it like this. You see, this is a, part, a piece of the shoulder. So I asked him to cut it like this. You want your pork or your jerk for having some of them. Hmm? If you have a piece of this right here. so Those are what is going to help to keep the pork moist. If you go and select all lean pork, you're going to be in problems. Hmm? Unless that's all pulled pork you want. You want to just... Jerky and jerky and jerky and when you can't take nothing no more you just start pull apart and you get some dry trashy pulled pork. That's what is going to happen. So you want, this is clean, wash and drain and all of that. This is what I have. And this is an extra piece. You see it? This is how you want your jerk but it must have been some of these. For, you know? Alright, so that is what I have right there. I don't have running water in my sink right now. I don't have water, I'm going to cut off my water. Not because I'm going to my bill, because we're having water problems. Okay? Alright. So now, let us continue. Remember, this is the jerk marinade that we have. And if you are on the Jamaican cooking journey, you know that we made this marinade. And if you're new right on over here, you might want to ask me, Debbie. Um, do you have that marinade on the, that jerk um, season or jerk marinade on um, your channel? Yes, we do. I'm gonna leave the link. This is mine that I made. You can do yours or you can go get some store bought. This is what I made, okay? So now, as I was saying to you, 
you have got to know your pork. You got to select the right pork with some fat, some skin, and some stuff on. Also, we want to have a soft piece of pork. How do we know the pork is soft? We can't know because I never read it, raise the ugly. What I normally do after I, 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 I um, season and leave it to marinate, I always give, put it through a tenderizing process. You can tenderize it in different forms. You can use your slow cooker to tenderize. You can use your pressure cooker. You can use your stove top with just a pot and a cover. You can use the grill. You can use the jerk pan to tenderize before you start jerking. We're not going to go much in at the tenderizing now. We're going to be talking. We're going to be, I'm going to be showing you how or what I deem as tenderize in part two. So let me show you now. These little parts here, I just want to stick, just make pork a little holes through them. Because mm -hmm. when you get jerk pork, you, know, you want some bone, you want some fat, you want some skin, and you want some meat. Mm -hmm. Right, so, because we don't know that a suckling pig, we have to go put the meat through some tenderizing process. Try to remember that. Eh? Because some of the times, the meat look like it young and when you start to jerk it, it's not really all that young, you know. Okay? So I'm poking some oils. This is definitely what I'm doing. Hmm? You see what may I show you? You see all this thing? You see all this look? You see how it look? Uh -huh. Okay. You see the skin? This is the, the problem. You see? The knife cannot get the skin poked. So we got to do some tenderizing. I have to be using this method. And some people might have problem with it. But look here. Not my problem, but if you have problem with it, I'm sorry. So, remember, this here, when we did it, I did not put any salt in it. So you have got to know if you make your store, if you buy your store bought one, you must know it's salt in it. Read the ingredients. So this is fresh pork. Someone want to get some salt in this fresh pork here. And this is six pounds. Hmm? I'm mean, going to put all of this salt into this here. Six pounds. I'm going to go get this salt all working. Gently. Because remember, if you have bones in yours, you go gently. Because some of these bones, they are really sharp, you know. So I'm going to go get my salt right through it because fresh pork no matter how much ginger and something you have you got to put salt to you know get it all and this is fresh pork so i'm gonna go rub in my salt and return to put on the marinade okay now all salted i have my own major marinade that i shared with you on the channel right here these little different cores that you see, that's why I asked my butcher to do it like this. I just want it to do like this. I don't want it to come apart like that's the, this single part. I don't want it to do like this, you know? So I just asked him to do it like that. That's how I normally do mine, okay? You wanna put a little at a time and work it in? Work it in, that's how you do it. So look here, I'm gonna, you see, you get the whole idea Oh, you do it now because you have to massage in this blended thing, you know, and make it come in and just in from the pork and the ones eat one side and the pork one side. So, look at me here. You realize what I'm doing, you've got the idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna go finish this and return to you, okay? Okay, now we are right back. This is my finished marinated um, pork. I've rubbed in my marinade, and this is what it looks like, okay? Now, I am going to be using my plastic wrap and I'm going to be wrapping it thoroughly and I'm going to be putting it in my deep freeze. You, have, you need to cover this properly because this is so strong, it will be old refrigerator will just be taken up by it, okay? So make sure you know how you are storing it in your refrigerator. This is really strong. You are dealing with something that is cured. So you want to make sure you do it at different intervals and make sure every way. I'm going to leave mine in the deep freeze. For about 15 to 16 hours it is almost like seven o'clock in the in the in the p.m. now in Jamaica so I'll be doing the um, part two of the video which is tenderizing and the jerking so probably about 10 in the other morning which is Sunday morning 
will start so about 15 to 16 hours of marinating okay now i will come now probably about like 10 it will go in my deep freeze so probably i'll come about and the, the weather is hot so i'll come like about eight o'clock and i'll take it out and leave it to thaw you know so when you see me in part two i will be showing you my um tenderizing process then we'll move to my jerk pan on the up oh, my to my jerk pan on the outside and i'll show you how i prepare my jerk pork hope you have enjoyed what i did and if you care to you can go to, i'll leave the link for my homemade marinade and you can just go check it out if you want to make it you make it if you don't want to, you can get your store bought okay this is my way and i'm sharing with you see you in part two